Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. And today we're going to be going into the Amazon tool deals and checking out the tools that I found for this week. Keep in mind, all of these items will be linked down in the description for you guys with their own independent link for each item. And then there are going to be two additional links that say tools and tools continued. Both of those links are going to take you to a long list of tools that I've went over in the past or other tools that I suggest. So that's all there for you guys. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. First up, we were looking at the Vera 10 compact bit holder and bit set. This is a 10 piece. Vera is a very well-known brand, very good stuff. I really enjoy their drivers and screwdrivers and things like that. I like the handle design. Uh, it fits very well. And this for $20, this is the lowest price in 30 days. The typical price is $27 and 29 cents. So a decent amount of savings on this. It has 4.6 stars at 576 ratings. It's not a big set. Like I said, it's kind of more like a gift set. Or if you want to throw this in the glove box of your vehicle, just to have a small driver uh, for emergencies or anything like that, or maybe you need something for the office. Obviously this is going to be great for the shop and in the garage as well, but it's also going to be great for, you know, little, fixes here and there. It comes in a nice little case with a, a decent amount of various different bits with a nice little bit driver. So here you can see the bits. You got a couple slotted. These are Phillips head. I know from the image, it looks like a posi drive, but they are Phillips head. You got a number one and two, and then you got two of the posi drives as well. And then a T10, T15, and T20. So a very good assortment of very common bits. So definitely a nice little set, especially for $20, whether you're getting it for yourself or somebody else, it's guaranteed to get some use. And uh, I don't think you're gonna find very many people that aren't pleased with this item. This is what you need to keep in mind. This is not a full size driver. It is a compact set and it's a kind of a miniature little driver, but you're not getting like precision bits. You're getting full size bits. There you can kind of see everything included. 4.6 stars at 576 ratings at $20. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic option. Next up, we are looking at a set of Ulza tools. These are the SAE sockets. This is a 13 piece set. It's quarter inch drive, six point, and this is gonna go from eighth inch to five eighths. And this is at $20 and 17 cents, down from a typical price of just under $30. So quite a bit of savings here. And I actually own some of the Ulsa socket sets and I was very impressed with the quality and it comes in a nice little plastic organizer, kind of like what you see uh, snap on and icon things in kind of those organizers where the, the sockets are laying down. That's not for everybody, but it is a nice little organizer. It's not the super thin plastic that you get with some of the brands. It is very sturdy, so they've done a good job on that. And I was actually very, very impressed by the quality of the chrome job and the fit and finish on these sockets. They've done a very good job on them. I've had mine for a couple years now, and they've done very well. Now, granted, I have a lot of sockets, so they're not always the, the first one I grab, but any time that I've used them, I haven't had an issue with them, and I'm still very impressed with how they've held up and the chrome plating on them. But to get into kind of more of what I wanted to talk about is metric. This one is even at $22.17, down from a list price of $34.87. So $22 for the deep well metric and $15. So that puts us at $37 if you want both shallow and deep, which isn't a bad price at all. It is four millimeter through 15 millimeter. So it is including that 15 millimeter socket. So it is a very nice size quarter inch socket set. I'm very pleased with them. It has 4.9 stars at 279 ratings. And I think the pricing is very, very fair for what you're getting. But if you don't wanna order the sets individually or you you don't want them in that organizer where they lay down i think a very good comparison to them is the capri tools quarter inch drive socket set uh 35 dollars down from a list price of 40 dollars so a couple dollars cheaper than the ulsa tools and normally i wouldn't co compare capri tools to a lot of the ulsa stuff a lot of the ulsa stuff is kind of just a lot of that generic stuff that you find on Amazon from other brands also does definitely have their items that they've gone above and beyond with like these sockets. They have a couple wrench sets, uh, their ratchets that are the, the old USA SK ratchets. I actually own them. These, sorry about the lighting, but these ratchets are from Ulsa and very, very nice buttery smooth. Uh, very good quality, very high 
quality chrome job and i believe those are the old sk ones before sk switched to china so also definitely has their tools that are very very well made and capri is a brand that i've really enjoyed over the years and they have a lot of high quality stuff especially for the price so i think looking at my ulsa sockets and my capri sockets they're very comparable both fantastic chrome jobs both great fit and finish and uh, this is a very good selection of quarter inch sockets this also is from four millimeter to 15 millimeter it's going to include that 15. it's not going to be on an organizer you can actually get this from capri with a wesling usa made billet aluminum socket rail it does bump it up to fifty dollars but these are pretty high quality organizers i really enjoy the wesling organizers very very nice organizers so if you prefer your sockets standing up or you can get it without and put it on your own personal organizer whatever you run but this one has 4.7 stars at 102 ratings so definitely good options for both Next up, just like the, the previous two weeks, I've went over an Ernst organization product. First was the Ernst Bit Boss, and then we went over the Ernst Pliers Rack, and now we're looking at the Ernst Modular Wrench Organizer. And Ernst organizers are made in the USA with a lifetime guarantee. Ernst is a brand organizer that I've used for many, many years, and I've probably used almost all of their organizers and been very very pleased with them they put a lot of thought into them and they're designed very well and this is something Tecton is a brand that resells a lot of the Ernst organizers and while you can get a 10% in rewards through Tecton which is a good option if you have a lot of like Tecton rewards but if you're just trying to save a little bit of money maybe you don't have any Tecton rewards then Ernst is definitely just go directly to them it's going to be a couple dollars cheaper for going straight to Ernst and then Tecton only offers them in a non-magnetic option and they're only available in red and black if you get them from Ernst you can see you can get them in red black and blue then you can get them as a magnetic set as well it is going to bump up the price a little bit because there is going to be a magnetic base on each of the pieces but these organizers are incredibly versatile and modular you can fit a lot of wrenches into your drawer by switching to an organizer like this where you're not restricted to pre-built ones that can't be adjusted or anything like that you can just go literally from the back of your drawer to the front as many times as you need to fit the wrenches that you have and i was running the toolbox widget before i'm still running some of it but these ones are by far my favorite so far especially when it comes to modular and with the magnet ones, that's going to be a little bit better for if you're putting this in a tool cart or a mobile kind of working environment, this is going to be better with the magnets. But if this is just going in a toolbox that, that stays in its place, you don't need the magnet ones. Once the wrenches are actually on the organizer, they're not going anywhere. You can shake the drawer. The organizers stay very well. They have small little edges in the corner that kind of dig into your rubber mats or your foam mats in your drawer and it holds them very well so i think for either the magnetic or non-magnetic the price is very very good and you're getting a very good organizer last up i want to quickly go over the milwaukee cutoff tool this was literally 15 minutes ago at 97 dollars okay i get it it's two dollars but it was $97. This is the typical price that you may be able to find it at other places. Sometimes it sells for about $130 or $120 to $130. But it does go on sale pretty often at this price. So it's still a good option if you run the Milwaukee lineup. I've really enjoyed my 3-inch cutoff tool. This is the one that I almost purchased because if you guys follow the channel, you guys know that I run the M12 lineup from Milwaukee. And I also run the DeWalt 20-volt lineup. Well, I decided to wait and I got the DeWalt 20-volt a lot of people question the purpose of these and while you're right you can use many other tools uh, that might work better for your situations just having one of these around i have gotten a lot of use out of honestly i've gotten a lot of use out of it in situations that i didn't think i would but it's really come in handy granted i have the dewalt 20 volt version because i waited for it to come out because i i had seen the reviews on the power difference and all of that and i just like the dewalt design better but this is definitely one that i was considering it's not like i didn't like this item i do 
but I am glad that I waited for the DeWalt. But if you don't run the DeWalt lineup like I do, I think this is still a good tool. But keep an eye on it because it will drop to about the $95 to $97 price range. Now, granted, it's not a lot of savings, but you can also find these on deals when you buy a couple batteries. You can get this tool for free. Obviously, that's not on Amazon. It is very hard to find Amazon name brand tools that are at a really good discount. It's just difficult to find. This has 4.6 stars at 2,339 ratings. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're looking at name brand tools or power tools, cordless tools on Amazon, you really need to check the warranty because sometimes when they're not purchased at Home Depot, Lowe's, or directly from the manufacturer, the warranty is void. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. I'm not sure. I don't know if I've ever bought a power tool from Milwaukee on Amazon. Definitely a tool that I've gotten a lot of use out of. I still think I could have gotten a lot of good use out of the Milwaukee one, but I think I paid 160 or 170 for my DeWalt one, but it is quite a bit more powerful. I can run a larger battery on it. I like the shape of it and it's just done very well. But if you're considering the Milwaukee, I guarantee you you're gonna get some decent use out of it and I think you'll be pretty happy with it. Here's the DeWalt one. It's been on Amazon on sale for a couple weeks now. They're both three inch cutoff tools. They're both dual direction so you can kind of keep the sparks away from whatever you want. I just really like the layout of this DeWalt one and the power that it has. And it's at $134. I've seen it as low as $130, $130 and it's been floating below $140 recently. So I could have saved, you know, roughly $30 to $40 on this item if I would have just waited. But I've gotten, like I said, a lot of use out of it over the last year and I'm extremely happy with it. But both the Milwaukee and DeWalt three inch cutoff tools are very, very popular. So anytime you can get them on sale and you don't own one, but you have, you run one of these lineups, I think it's a good one to consider purchasing. And that's it. As far as this week's Amazon tool deals, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. All these items will be linked down in the description for you guys, like I stated earlier. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.